a hearty welcome to our drive-in theater. We have a wonderful evening's entertainment lined up for you, one that will provide several hours of pleasurable relaxation and diversion for you and your family. Did you fail to dress up for tonight's show? No tie, an old shirt and slacks, a house dress? Well, don't give it a thought. We're glad you came as you are. We just want you to enjoy yourselves. Don't forget to visit our refreshment center during the intermission or any time. You love the tasty array of snacks we have to offer. So will the youngsters. Everything is quality and mm -hmm. so good. We hope you'll make this a weekly visit. Bring the family, bring your friends. There are always wonderful new pictures to see, delightful snacks to nibble, a gay, pleasant evening for all. All right, and to my knowledge, a video like this has never been done before. So, with that said, let's get into it. You've been hanging out with that evil Von Helton guy, and we all know he's a terrorist, and we all know he beats his wife, and we all know he tries to kill his children on a, on a daily basis. See, we know this shit. Okay, so when you hang out with this evil Von Helton guy who's trying to kill his kids, well, you just got to be banned, see? You get it? You understand? You just got to be banned. You know, it's one of those things. Like I said, man, when I'm 99 years old and I'm about to croak, you know, or whatever, 105, whatever the fuck it is, and I'm about to croak, I'm on my fucking deathbed, I'll tell everybody everything. Because, I mean, what are they going to do? Kill me? <laughs> All right. But for now, I tell all. I'm going mm -hmm. the yeah, you should I'm probably write a book. I mean, everybody seems to be writing books like nowadays. Adam you can Bob publish Bob them on Amazon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh, dude. I got a lot of people after me to write a book. I do. Just the, just the supernatural shit that I've experienced alone would be enough to make a book thousands of pages long. But <clears throat> it's getting it published, all right, and some publishers are pains in the ass, and some publishers are nice, and, you know, I don't know, maybe it's my bad luck, but I've never, ever gotten a hold of a decent publisher. The only real decent publisher I was aware of years ago was a company called Bantam Books. Now they ended up being really nice people, but they're the only they're the only company I know that's ever been decent. You know, all the rest of them have been really. I won't say I won't say they've been they've been evil, because that's too strong a word. But they haven't exactly exuded confidence to me. Let me put it that way. <laughs> Understandable, you know. Um, but you can self-publish on Amazon. I know you probably wouldn't be able to... They, they take, like, I think it's like 10% mm -hmm. or something like that of whatever your gross income you are from it. Mm -hmm. But uh, I guess the first step is to actually just work on the book yourself and see how confident you are with it and then go from there, you know? Mm -hmm. Baby steps, right? Mm -hmm. It's all good. Mm -hmm. I looked into trying to write books myself, but... Man. All about confidence, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, absolutely, sure. Um, I haven't worked with Amazon, and so I have no clue um, whether they're reputable as a publisher or not, but I will investigate it and see. Because, you know, you're not the only one that's brought up a book. I mean, there have been literally thousands of people that I brought up the idea of me writing a book. And I, like I said, I hesitated because, you know, I've been overly confident about what, they, what the publishers want to do. Hot sauce for pooping pads! Everybody, everybody says New York is bad for the freaks coming out at night. Uh-uh, no, no. Cincinnati's got to be by far. Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, fuck yeah. yeah Cincinnati's got, yeah. Cincinnati owns L.A. and New York on that one. 
a court in St. Pena, it's being up for God to tell you is that secular opinion doesn't knock it off. My grandfather is high in the priesthood of the Mormon temple up there. Uh -huh. And the Mormons have their own mafia. <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm not joking. They, 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 they I, wouldn't, their, um, I wouldn't call it a mafia. But no, they do. If you talk bad about the temple up there, Vaughn, you don't I wouldn't call it a mafia, but do they do they look after each other? Oh, fuck yeah, they do. Well, like, I wouldn't the, call it a mafia. Vaughn, I mean, I'm not joking. They do, like, you up there in Canada, like, the high priesthood, if somebody's talking bad about the church, they disappear. Right. I don't yep. give a company fuck about your moral conundrum, you meat-headed shit sack. Be ashamed if something was to happen. I mean, it would just be a shame. They made him an assassin, slaughtered his family, and came crawling back for more. This summer, action star David Fultz is... Trailer Bark Ninja. The sick and depraved bastards who brought you Pork Beast and Rhonda the Stripper comes a tale of bloody revenge never seen by American audiences. Trailer Park Ninja. Bring it on, boys. Blood. Guts and hard hitting action. Jesus, where did you learn to drive? A, I'm not Jesus. And B, <laughs> I wouldn't call this driving. Ron, remember the mail call videos you used to do? Can you just recite the intro to it? Why, David? That was years ago, and I'm tired. And it's nine o'clock, Eastern Standard Time. <laughs> nine bells and all's well. Nine bells and all's well. I need a town crier, man. Thank you, fuck you, bye, boom. Folks, as some of you are aware, I am over 25 years drug and alcohol free. I am at least five years cigarette free because I vape now. Let's see, I vape. So, so I say I'm doing pretty damn good. And for 55, not too bad. Not too bad at all. You know, it's, it's funny. It's funny. You know, because I sit here and I wonder, why would somebody fuck with somebody that's got guns like this? Oh, my goodness. Where my bicep is almost as big as their fucking head. You know? You would think you wouldn't want to fuck with somebody like that, man. Right? I mean, look at this shit. I'm 52 fucking years old, and look at the size of my goddamn arm. Look at the size of my bicep. You know, but these motherfuckers want to get on here and, and make wisecracks at me. I can fucking pound them into the goddamn concrete in two seconds. But they're going to get on here and, and start shit with me. You know, if I saw some muscle-bound dude, I don't give a shit how old they are. If I saw, saw some muscle-bound dude, there's no way I'd fuck with him. Because I wouldn't want my ass beat, right? So what does that say about the mental faculties of these fucking trolls and haters? It says they want to beat him, doesn't it? Isn't that what it says? Well, yeah. I crap bigger than you. Huh? You see this? Yes, I got two good. fucking things going on here. Yes, that's true. Tell me like they want to fucking beat him. I wouldn't go around. I wouldn't go around antagonizing dudes with, with fucking guns like this. No fucking way. No fucking way now. Especially when they're 52 years old and look like that. Can you imagine how I looked when I was younger? Can you? I mean, I'm 52. I'm 50, no, excuse me, 53. I just had a birthday. But can you imagine? A fucking gun, fucking guns. Well, look at that. I mean, bigger than my fist. Guns bigger than my fist. Now, unlike the trolls, I've actually toured this facility. It was a very nice facility. The 
people are very nice that work there. I've talked to the doctors, I've talked to the nurses, I've talked to the staff. It's a wonderful place. And, and yes, even the mental ward where Andrea is at is a very nice facility. It's a lot nicer than I expected it to be. Let's put it that way. Let me go and let me use the restroom and then I'll go check and see if it's on my porch. Hang on. Sorry about that, but uh, we are watching for the UPS truck. In the different timelines, there's going to be the same people, there's going to be the same events, there's going to be the same places, but the, but the difference is is that there will be subtle changes, subtle changes in behavior, subtle changes in likes and dislikes and shit like that, okay? but. You know, as far as the same people, I'd say probably so the same. What's people. different about me? Huh? What's different about me? What's different about me? I, I'll tell you what's different about you. Uh, you seem to be a little more extroverted when it comes to being around me. Um, in my in my timeline, back on the Sagittarius arm, um, you weren't that prevalent in my hangouts, and you weren't that prevalent. Um, you know, as far as conversing with me, okay. But I've noticed since I got here, you talk to me an awful lot more than much. Well, I'm I'm semi-retired, so what can I say? What? There, oh, the kids are already over at Mamaw's, and Mamaw's giving them a bath and giving them a snack and all that good shit. And, nice. Yeah. Let Mamaw let Mamaw handle it this morning. I need a breather every now and then. I mean, you know, and and that's something else. 
See, see, here's here's what the trolls will say. The trolls will say that because I let the kids go over to Mamaw's this morning, that Mamaw has custody, you know. See, that's how fucking brain dead they are, okay? Well, you're a single it. father. Now, I'll, I'll tell you, I'll tell you what, and this is this down as God's truth. I'm going to, I'm going to try and get all of the Indian nations together, and we're going to go to Yale, and we're going to demand Geronimo's bones back. If they See, that flag, don't be showing the flag that might get banned. YouTube's a safe space now. If they, if. If Yale refuses to cough up Geronimo's bones, we will render it asunder, to use the old English vernacular. When I want to have a second legal wife, what do they do? They throw me in prison with murderers. Okay, so that's not right. There's no and way. Rapists. There is no way that these bigamy laws are just. No way. Um. June, do you want to know why we have the bigamy laws? Is because way back when Brigham Young was the governor of Utah, yep, he ended up going to D.C. and he was the one that got rid of the bigamy well, laws. And Brigham Young had 24 wives. You know what? I'll tell you something about that. You're you're being bringing up Brigham Young. I'll bring up my fucking great grandfather because he knew Brigham Young and. Honestly, uh, he wasn't a good man either. He raped some mm -hmm. of his children. I'm not going to speak exactly who because it's just fucked up. But point being is... Um, now see, that, that, see, now see, that's what pisses me off. That's what makes me... <clears throat> I gotta fix my... my yeah. Thing here. See, see, that's, Campbell. What, that's what makes me angry, okay? If, you, if, the, if that guy had been limited to one wife... And had went after her daughters or girlfriends or whatever. I might can kind of see it, but when you have the ability and and the freedom to have multiple wives, you shouldn't need to commit adultery. No. Nope. You shouldn't need to go after no daughters or nieces or ne or whatever. You know, there's no need for that. Bec and that's the whole damn point behind polygamy is that you have the freedom to have multiple wives, so that you don't need to do that shit. So if he did do it, and him having the freedom to have multiple wives, then he is guilty as fucking sin and <coughs> should be persecuted to the highest courts in the land. <coughs> That's what I'm looking at. Uh, you know, I do have I do have a an adult uh, an adult uh, 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 thing back there. Just think, you know, because uh, you know I've been in the hospital a few times, you know, so they give them to you. <laughs> So what those few times I've been in the hospital, I've, I've got them. They're back there stored. I mean, I don't use the damn things, obviously, but, I mean, they're back there. You know, maybe I ought to come out in one of them, you know, and just let it all hang out. Yeah? <laughs> Can you, do you care if I put you on the spot in an embarrassing in an embarrassing and compromising situation for about two seconds? Me? Yes, you. Why, why? Well, this guy says he's, he's pining for you, but I got a funny feeling that if something was happened to your husband, that you'd probably look me up first before him. Am I wrong Wait, about so that? Broke up. What? I said if something, if you know, no offense, or, you know, and I'm not wishing anything on him, but if something was horrible was to happen to your husband, I would think he would look my direction before you would anybody else. Am I wrong on that? I'm not going to nobody. I'm going to probably be guys. You're not going to be interested in nobody. All right, I was just, I just, you know, I, I hate to put you on the spot, but he's sitting there, oh, I'm pining for her, and I'm waiting until her marriage is over, and all that, you know. So I, I <laughs> that's why I don't wait wait that marriage out, too. <laughs> no, I don't no, think no. you will, bro. Do I wonder why they have his bones? Uh, no, I don't wonder why they have his bones. I know why they have his bones. They have his bones because they thought they could get away with it, and they did. And I think all the Indian nations, to get together, and, and march on Yale and demand that his bones be returned. And if they don't, then we flatten the son of a bitch to the ground. So but, you know, people need to understand. You know, if you are a, a liberal, a leftist, a socialist, a fascist, or a communist, you're not an American. Because you believe that the government should have all the power and the people not get shit. Well, I'm sorry. But Aaron Burr disagrees with you. <laughs> Boom! Boom! Shot him right between the fucking eyes, man. <laughs> that's what you do with treasonous. You shoot him right between the eyes. Well, at least that's what we used to do. You're a 
guarantee you, you would get forty. What you would get forty marriage proposals tonight if you I not only would. came out as a homosexual, <laughs> but if I came out wearing a diaper. Come out wearing a diaper and watch what happens. I probably would. I bet even Candy Rain would want to hit my ass if I come out as a homosexual tonight. What a lot of you don't see and a lot of you don't know about is that there's dark forces at work. And then there's me, a light worker, that's trying to stop it all. Just me. Got a whole fucking sea of darkness out there, and <laughs> with little old me, you know, trying to stop it, man. It's like, fuck. But hey, it's job security, right? I got job security. Because the darkness ain't going to go away all by itself. I got to get rid of it. If you're interested to know more, just Google the Emerald Tablets of Thoth and read them for yourself. Or you can listen to me read them. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be doing uh, the Emerald Tablets of Thoth again. And I'll be posting it up on BitChute and everybody can listen. You know, it'll be an audio uh, read reader type thing, you know. But I'll do the Emerald Tablets of Thoth again. But I'll just put them all in one video this time, I think. And... Um, It'll be all right, man. But you need to know. You need to know. You need to read George Washington's prophecy. You need to read the Emerald Tablets of Thoth. And uh, what else can I recommend? Because um, the Book of Revelations is is not true. It's not true. It's not going to come to pass. Well, it could come to pass if these elite families make it come to pass, but it's not going to come to pass any other way. So the, the thing you need to be reading is George Washington's prophecy. That's what you need to be reading. Not the book of Revelations. Um, i trying to think if there's anything else you need to read. There probably is, but it just escapes me at the moment. Hi, right, Mr. Blue Sky, I see you. Thank you, fuck you, bye, boom. You watch the videos in full screen? Well, good. <laughs> I always put that up there, don't I? Watch in full screen. Um, supposedly, there's people that's got big 80, 90 inch TVs, and they all gather around the TV and watch my videos. I don't know how true that is, but that's what I've heard. You're either going to pay my happy ass, or you're going to take your shit down. Because if you don't, YouTube will take it down for you, because YouTube isn't going to want to get sued. Okay, they're just not. YouTube is not going to want to get sued, and they're sure as hell not going to want to get sued because of you. So, is your channel going down if you don't do something? Yes. The difference is whether you decide to take it down yourself or whether YouTube takes it down for you. At this point, I really don't care. What I care about is that is the fact that you're either going to pay me or you're going to take your shit down. That's what that's what matters to me as a content creator, as somebody that actually makes shit. That that's what matters to me. Now, most likely, with the passing of this legislation today, ironically. Um, they'll probably, uh, you know, they'll probably just start taking down hate channels indiscriminately. I don't know. I don't know what YouTube and Google intend to do, but I know that YouTube and Google ain't going to get sued. I know that. Okay, let's not be stupid here. Google and YouTube are not going to want to get sued. Well, Von Hilton, you ain't going to contact the e Watch me. My, my fucking email will be sent so goddamn fast it'll make your head spin. Oh, hell yes, I will email the EU and tell them that your hate channel exists. Hell fucking yes, I will. In a heartbeat, brother. In a fucking heartbeat. You bet your ass I will send an email to the EU listing every single one of your damn hate channels on YouTube. You betcha. You betcha I will. So now, you got a choice. Pay me, or get the fuck out of the pool. Simple as that. Oh, and all those people passing around Karate Kyle? Hang on a minute. All y'all passing around my picture from when I was a teenager at Mr. Green's dojo. It's called Karate Kyle. It's a meme. It's it's everywhere on the internet. Just put Karate Kyle in it. Y'all gonna pay me too. Thanks to Article 13. Y'all gonna pay me. Lucky 13. Yeah, I'm calling it. I'm calling it Lucky 13 because it's gonna bring me a shit ton of money because I am Karate Kyle. Notice that this is not the one being circulated on the internet. And if you'll notice also, See if I can let me see if I can get it out here without damage. Damage, damage, damage. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
There's both of them. There's both of them. There's both of them. Yes, damn it, I am Karate Kyle. Fuck yes, I am. Mr. Green's Dojo is where those were taken. And my mom can verify it. People in Hamilton, Ohio can verify it. But yes. So yes, I'm going to be a very, very, very wealthy man. Because that meme is everywhere. I mean, it's everywhere. It's, it's all over the damn place. So yes, I'm going to be a very, very happy person. Here in, well, starting today. Starting today, I'm going to be a very happy person. I'm going to have a smile on my face. Um, as for uh, the garb I'm wearing here, there's a reason I'm wearing it. Because the trolls and haters were under the impression that my daughter's magical um, uh, cape was, was mine. And I, I basically trolled the trolls. And even one of their own set. Well, I have done everything that I know to do to try and get um, the impersonator removed from YouTube. YouTube is apparently ignoring everyone that flags that channel, but I'm going to put the link down there in the chat for you all to flag anyway, because, uh, you know, this person is making money off of me. Well, Jeevan, how do you know they make money off of you? Because you can't, a, a non-monetized channel can only put uh, videos that are 15 minutes or less up on their channel. My videos are easily 30 minutes, if not longer. So I know this person's channel is monetized. They are make, literally making money off of using my videos, my face, my voice. Okay, that is a crime. That is theft. All right, and YouTube is culpable in that theft unless they remove this person from their service, which they refuse to do. Other people have already flagged this channel, but I'm, I'm going to put the link there for you guys to flag it as well. Um, I've already posted before to flag the channel, but, you know, I just wanted to document that, you know, um, YouTube still has the channel up. They're not, they're not taking it down, and I don't know why. And it's not right. It's not right. I should not be impersonated on YouTube. They're making money off of my videos, even my videos that are on other services. Okay, what they're doing is they're stealing my videos over on BitChute or over on UG, UGE Tube, and then they're bringing them to YouTube and re-uploading them onto YouTube and, and making money off of them. And that's not right. That's not right. This person should not be making money off of them. And these other, these other uh, uh, trolls and haters, uh, whose videos are over 15 minutes long, they're monetized too, which means they're making money off of my videos, my face, my voice, which is a crime according to Kentucky state law. But as we know, YouTube don't give a fuck about the law because if they did, all of them trolls would have been banned years ago, right? But, like I said, I'm putting a link down there for you. Y'all can click on it and go flag your shit. Flag, be sure to flag the channel, not just the videos. Because the channel needs to come down. All right? Flagging his videos is nice, and that helps. But his channel is, it really is what needs to come down. Um, this person is making money off of my videos, off of my audio, off of my still picture, uh, off of my face, my voice, etc. So... Um, you know, and that's not right, man. It's not right that uh, they'd be allowed to get money. Now, all the trolls are making money off of you. And YouTube apparently is okay with that. You know, apparently YouTube's perfectly okay with that. I don't know why, but they are. See, that's the problem. You know, if, if, if I could actually get an attorney on the phone that would return my calls, 
you know, I might actually get some help, but uh, nobody wants to touch the internet for some reason. I don't know why. But anyways, I thought I would check in, let you all know that um, that channel is still up. YouTube hasn't removed it yet. So keep flagging the channel, keep flagging the videos, and hopefully YouTube will find my response. Um, that's going to do it for me. I just wanted to get up here and make a quick little notation. Y'all have a pleasant day and better than tomorrow. Bye. Uh, little dick, huh? Yeah. Well, at least you got one. Who is thinking? Somebody tell me who is thinking. Who is thinking? 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 around and cook some soups and eat bread and desserts and just get all fat and sassy. Dang it, I'm going to have everyone do it like a magic chant. Uh, all right, you guys ready? Because when we're talking inflatables, you need something that's been inflated. Are you guys ready? Yeah. yeah. All right, here we go. Uh, Repeat after me. Abracadabra, one, two, three. Abracadabra, one, two, three. Now it's time to see what we see. Now it's time to see what we see. Oh, everybody. Oh, my goodness. How's everybody doing? My name is Mr. Wacky. Welcome to the Inflatable Run. Give me Mr. Wacky a nice round of applause, everybody. The sacrifices that we personally made to be here are incredible. My wife's boyfriend sold his prosthetic leg on Craigslist to afford me the opportunity to be here, but they get a loan time and I get a chance to be in Omaha and my double wide trailer will turn into a single wide when I get home, but we got a fund me page that I get to go check at the local library on the line. So I get to go check that GoFundMe page and as soon as I get enough money to afford him a new leg at the end of next year,